Hey, honey bun. I see you're already nice and comfy. That's great, because we're about to do our weekly Dracula fighting session, and you're never going to guess what we're going to be doing this week. No, it's not Rondo. No, it's not Symphony. Uh, well, Haunted Castle, I, I'm still working on that one. Our, our arcade games are hard. No, 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 Dead Cells has had a, re had a recent Castlevania expansion, and they've added, of course, for the final boss. Yep, it's Dracula. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be fighting him quite a few times today. I know how much you love that. I know how much you hate Dracula. He is truly terrible. The worst. That's why I'm always so happy to be able to do this for you. But this is a little bit different than normal. I'm not going to be able to just beat him over and over as I would in any other game. No. It's going to have to be, you know, losing against him a bunch of times. I know, I know. You know nobody likes to have to lose against Dracula. The man's terrible. He's truly an awful, awful demon dead uh, creature. But it's, it's part of the game. It's got this whole permadeath system and everything. But I mean, I don't want to make the, the session too short, of course, because you know how much I love, I love spending time with you doing this every single week. So, you can see immediately, yeah, he's got all of the classic Castlevania Dracula moves, and I am using a lot of the very classic sort of, of weapons to be fighting him right now. The axe, you can see moving in that sort of upward motion, as well as the Medusa head, doesn't quite work in the same way. Somehow, against all odds, they didn't add that particular that particular enemy into this expansion. Kind of disappointing in some ways. I think that that's such an iconic part of the series that it's like you would really want to see that. But at the same time, it is still so nice to see such an accurate thing. You remember back when we did the, the Grim Troop in... in uh, remember back when we did the Grim Troop back in, in Hollow Knight? Yeah, it's very similar to Dracula, I know, but it wasn't quite the same thing, right? I mean, Dracula fights... It's not just the moveset and everything, it's the music, it's the presentation and whatnot. And although I am still disappointed, as I'm sure you've probably noticed, that you can't just hit him in the head or anything. It's like, I mean, that's, of course, one of the best parts when you're going for the maximum amount of tingles when it comes to fighting Dracula. You know, landing those nice headshots and everything is so important, and I know. But unfortunately, yeah, I, I think it's due to the way the game works that they just could not do that. So... That's why it's... Oh. <laughs> well, it seems like the first death might be before I even get into the second phase. Oh yeah, you know, I, I know you love when he gets in the second phase, but there's only so much I can do with that. It's still a very hard fight, and these are not easy weapons to use, which I think just makes it all that more, much more satisfying when I end up doing it right. Ah, well, that's too bad. But I mean, you know, that's just going to make it all the sweeter when I'm able to beat him. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know. It's just like, oh, oh you, want, you want me to do the thing? I, I, I can do the thing. Yeah, I'm Dracula. I'm sucking your blood. Oh no, it's a Belmont. Ah, he's whipping me and I'm turning into dust. Ah, I, I, love, I love seeing you smile like that. Now then, in between, you know, while we're doing the cutscenes and everything, how about I do a nice trigger, like a ear blowing or something? Well, I do still need to focus on the game a little bit, I suppose. I mean, after all, it's not going to be a very fun time during this session if I'm completely unable to get even to the second phase. One of the best parts about Drac fighting Dracula, I think one of the most relaxing things when it comes to fighting Dracula is getting to that second phase. It's so satisfying and nice. But at the same time, it's like it's not as if the first phase is completely insignificant. You know, I am trying to use mostly the, the Castlevania weapons, of course, but I do have an entire, entire set of weapons at my disposal right now. And I do think it's kind of important to try and make the most work out of that, maybe not with. Huh. See, the stressfulness is what makes it so when I'm actually able to beat him, right? It's like certainly Castlevania games, depending on which one you're playing, can be quite difficult. It makes the fight all the sweeter. Okay. And yeah, it's funny to think that you can just roll right through the various, the various columns of flame. 
it's it's normally a pretty difficult whoa wow i'm trying to kill it really um that would actually be pretty good to be taking here but um anyway uh, no, sorry i'm getting a little bit so, sorry honey but i'm getting a little bit too too caught up in the, the the actual gameplay i know this is about fighting dracula for you you just hate that guy so much and i love that about you it's so cute Of course, much like Castlevania 3, having the axe here fighting against the second form of Dracula, I think is going to be very, very useful. After all, he's a very large man. Ah, a very large man. That does, of course, mean that you can hit him with the axe very easily. And that is, ah, important. Now, it doesn't do a huge amount of damage, I'm going to be honest. I was sort of hoping that I would be able to hit him multiple times, but... I think that at least here, I can probably get a good win of. I know, that's where the good tingles come from. We all know there's nothing as satisfying as beating Dracula. Such a terrible, terrible... Oh, yeah, I guess you can actually just kind of get right... Now. Okay, he shoots his laser at you if you do that. I've, I've never actually got to that point before. I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. I suppose that's, uh... You know, that, that, that makes sense. <laughs> You just gotta kind of make sure you dodge around it. Get that good dodging in there. That good dodging. That's what causes the good... I can't believe I got hit by that again. That's what causes the good tingles. Am I right? Okay, I'm just gonna use the... Also, you know what? I'm gonna get my... I'm gonna get my controller a little bit near the... the to, to your ears. Uh, so that you can hear, like, the good clicky-clacky sounds, right? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I'm not gonna be able to make it. I, I didn't make it. It's true. I didn't make it. Okay, well... Thankfully, this game does have a rally. I, I'm mad that I got hit by that again, though. No, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, angry gamer noises is not ASMR. I, I apologize for that. It's not very relaxing to hear that sort of thing, right? Okay, uh, I'm actually okay here. Shockingly enough. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not even doing too bad. But, you know, the thing is, I can't actually win as of just yet because uh you know oh, dang yeah i know it's so disappointing but you know i can't beat him just yet because the last game's over it's, a, it's actually quite a long game if you're trying to get through here so while we're waiting i guess i'm gonna try and do like a little bit of another another trigger here if you want to do that just like here let me just kind of like rub your ears down a little bit Favorite thing, certainly. <laughs> the music, of course, as always, is just absolutely fantastic. Some great remixes here, too, although I've been having on the, the classic Castlevania soundtrack, which I'm sure you're probably, probably enjoying as well. I don't know. I mean, I can always switch it back and forth. I think it's one of those things where all I really need to do is just go through and go, go back to the, the title screen, turn it off. But at the same time, we are kind of right in the middle of that Dracula fight, and oh, Look at those tasty, delicious dodges. That's the sort of thing that... Oh. Then look at my very poor dodge there. Again, he just makes it all that much better when I'm able to actually beat him on our right. Although I probably shouldn't actually beat him here. I am still using, like, the uh, the non-permadeath mode. It's, it's, it's kind of one of those things where, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, beat him in a single run and everything. Yes, yes, it's that, it's that, uh... A thing where I like to play games in very specific ways, even if it absolutely does not benefit me at all. Mm, sort of very specific way. You really can't roll through those. Well, at least I am actually hitting him in the head, which, once again, that is such an important thing, I think, when it comes to we, when it comes to fighting Dracula. It's like that is the classic part of fighting Dracula, of course. It's not just... He, he, that, that's one of the things that makes him so difficult. You can't just sit there and constantly just smack him with the whip over and over. And 
I know, I know. There is, in fact, a vampire killer weapon in this game. But I wanted to do this in a little bit more, you know. Ah. Us using some weapons that you otherwise wouldn't be seeing. You know, make it a little bit special because of that. I think it's important for me to, to do things special for you. Can I show you that? Giant Killer would actually be pretty good here, though. It's a, it's a really fantastic weapon. It does a lot of extra, extra damage against bosses. And you know Dracula, he is one big boss. He is one large, incredibly enormous boss, which is why having the... The, the, the axe here is so effective in the first place. Maybe not the Medusa head. The Medusa head is mostly for, like, uh, you know, freezing enemies and, and, and bosses, really. In this game especially, don't, don't, aren't affected by that too much. That's why I am, I can't believe I kept just getting hit by that big laser over and over. I mean, don't get me wrong. Big laser ASMR is pretty cool, but it's not quite like the sort of thing where I think it's conducive to fighting Dracula. I mean, fighting Dracula is like about fighting Dracula, of course. It's like, hey, gotta do here, gotta get the good, good, you know, like whip of noises and everything. Well, even though I'm not using whip, look, look, when uh, next week when we do, I'm, I was thinking maybe another Aria of Sorrow run. That's, I, 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 it's not technically Dracula, I know, and yeah, really, you actually play as Dracula, well, dang, uh, to a certain extent, in a certain way, you know what I'm talking about, where am I, oh no, I'm just falling off the edge, that was pretty funny, actually, I'm not quite sure what the deal with that was, but, I mean, you know, It's just, uh, it's, it's something just by itself, right? Yeah, do it, do it. Shoot your laser, you shoot your dumb laser, you, you big evil vampire man. Oh, yeah, you love it when I insult Dracula. I know, it's, it's a very good part of, whew, it's a very good part of these fights, right? Okay, now, unfortunately, wow, this is kind of a, a difficult sort of makeup of... It's a difficult makeup of uh, a lot of different stuff. Wow. Oh, well, the problem is I can't actually beat Dracula. Look, just think, just look at it as if I beat Dracula there. I know, I know, Those are, that's the best part. He's my favorite, too. Oh, that's why I love you so much here. Come here. It's so satisfying to be able to beat him up so many times over and over. You're literally defeating Satan. It's got that it, it it's it's that sort of triumph of good over evil and everything that makes it so good. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well only a little bit so oh no. I'm actually thankfully able to dodge most of this stuff. Like, no real issue. I should really try to stop, you know, going in so hard on the on the one attack uh, you know the the one where he summons the exploding things because the exploding things of course are <laughs> kind of difficult to dodge unless you did it like i just did it there and i'm not quite sure if i can do that with any sort of consistency and consistency especially when it comes to your dracula fighting vampire uh, defeat uh asmr session yes is important 
extremely important. I didn't even get the money. The money doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not actually beating Dracula right now. Also, I really don't have anything to do with money at this point in time. Despite the fact that it drops money. I mean, look, the real reward, as we all know, is fighting Dracula. It's so important. It's so important that we take out this, this evil from the universe. So that he's unable to continue to harm people in the way that he has been doing. I mean, as you know, oh, as you know, I don't need to tell you this. It's like you hate this guy so much. You hate Dracula so much. In fact, sometimes I feel like I gotta remind you that he's not actually real. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't feel embarrassed. I know, you just get passionate, and I love that passion about you. It's my, it, it, it's my favorite part about doing these, these Dracula fighting sessions, of course. I mean, as well as being able to spend time with you like this, of course. I am never going to make that tad jump, am I? <laughs> but that's fine. Dracula, of course, will go down just the same. Especially if I'm able to, uh... Oh, uh, well, hmm. Actually, I didn't even take too much damage from that, uh... Ah, from the, the laser there. But, I mean, you know how that is. Gotta go do a little bit more of that clicky-clack, ah, uh, sound with a controller. Of course, I usually don't hold the controller like this. I'm sure you know that. Ah. Oh, I think I'm gonna be able to beat Dracula a little bit too quickly. And I, I know, I know. It's like, that's the point, right? That it's like, I'm supposed to be beating Dracula like this, but I, you know, I really can't because... <sighs> all right, all right. <sighs> it's so frustrating, but I mean... Because usually it's, yeah, you just, you know, reload the save and you go back and beat Dracula over and over. And it's, it's, it's truly some of the most, most tingly sort of things that you can imagine. But I just can't do that right now. It's just not possible. Because otherwise it's going to be over. I have to do like another hour, hour and a half run to be able to get back up here. And I don't want to end it so quickly. No. We can fight Dracula so much more. And I know you hate it when we end these sessions too early. I certainly don't want to do that either. Ah. Let me, while I'm doing this, do a little bit of ear blowing. Why do I actually also need to attack Dracula? I'm not just here to dodge around his attacks. You know, it's like he's a, this is literally a Dracula fighting session, not a Dracula dodging around his attack session. The crawl swings are surprisingly effective here, aren't they? Do just gotta make sure that I don't put myself in a position where I am getting hit by. I'm getting hit by the uh, the bats. The bats are very good at hitting you if you're like climbing on the walls and stuff. Which I'm thinking is probably why why he has that attack. You know, you know what I'm talking about. It's like uh, they give him this attack for this reason. Oh, I am so happy they put in the this Castlevania Castlevania DLC. It's been a while since we've had a new new game for for the Dracula fight pampering sessions. That to be able to to see something completely different like this, I think is really really a new experience, right? I mean, I, it, it's so important. It, it, there's nothing that quite compares to fighting Dracula, right? He's truly the worst. Terrible, terrible demon dead creature. And that's why, that's why it's just being able to see him in now a new context is so nice. Very, very pleasant. All right. Final form of Dracula one more time. I think that I'm actually doing pretty good when it comes to fighting this guy now. I mean, of course you know that. I've, I've fought him so much already. So, so many different Castlevania games that are, are already out there where you do end up fighting Dracula. So to be, to be able to... So to be able to uh, beat him here, I suppose it's just a matter of course, right? sort of 
expected that it's like I'd I'd be able to get to the the battle and you know be able to beat him up pretty quickly regardless which is great because I think that's so important for for these sessions that it's not just fighting Dracula it's fighting him and beating him right saving the world and I I, I made it this time <laughs> saving the world from such an evil, evil monster. Literal monster right now. He's like literally a monster. Ah. See, I actually made, managed to make it there. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like the crow wings are perhaps a little bit, uh, a little bit questionable usage. Okay, more bats. Just gotta go get out of the bats. Make sure I don't get hit by this. It seems as though Dracula is a very consistent because he is a stupid, stinky vampire, of course, and how he does stuff. So being able to uh, fight him there is a little bit easier. Oh, fortunately, yeah, looks like this one's about done. As much as I would like to, it's... <sighs> like I said, I want to play the game in a very particular way, and that means that I do need to, once again, you know, throw myself right into the pit. But the battle rage is on, of course. Clearly, whenever I feel like I want to beat this guy, I will be able to beat him. Oh, he also summons creatures and stuff like that, too. I don't really see that face too much in this battle. I feel like, or at least I haven't just yet. Which is why, you know, sort of interesting to be able to see some of that stuff. Which is otherwise a little bit, uh, a little bit rarer, sort of. <laughs> yes, it's a Risk of Rain outfit in this game. And not quite the same thing as, say, trying to beat up Draculas in, in Risk of Rain, which of course would be an amazing experience. But it's certainly uh, the closest thing that I'm probably going to get to that. Ah, yeah, there we go. You know, there's also a bunch of unique dialogue for fighting Dracula in different outfits. References to games and everything like that. I think it would be pretty nice to be able to show you that. Uh, you know, if uh, those outfits happen to come up, I didn't really consider that. I could have probably just turned off those out, the other outfits so that you could be able to... Yeah, I still really can't roll through that. To be able to do that for today's session, but, well... Maybe next time, if we end up making a return to, to to Dead Cells for the Castlevania DLC. I mean, I think it, it would be, it would definitely be a very interesting sort of thing to check out a little bit. All right. And I do have the shield and everything, and I have not been using it at all. Yes, you can get Alucard's shield in this DLC. No shield rod, though, unfortunately. But I mean, that's fine. We don't need anything truly overpowered. The only thing we need to do is beat up Dracula, which is, of course, so incredibly important. I mean, as you know, not just for the sake of the world, but also for us. Ow. Probably shouldn't be, uh, I probably shouldn't be, uh, trying to kiss your ears while you are, you, well, I'm also fighting Dracula. It kind of ends with me getting hurt an awful lot now, doesn't it? <laughs> ah, well. Still going quite good regardless, if I, if I do say so myself. Okay, let me, uh, let me go use a uh, potion charge here, just to be sure. <laughs> yeah, using potions in boss fights. It is just like the, the, uh, Symphony and up uh, sort of games, am I right? And right into Dracula's final form yet again. The classic big demon -y, uh, demon fellow, as you know. I mean, it really is. Ever since the original Castlevania, pretty much the same sort of uh, one that you expect to see, am I right? And of course, using the axe here is so reminiscent of... Me fighting Dracula back in Castlevania 3 when he was real big. He was a real big boy back in that one. He was uh, more or less human-sized back in... More or less...
less human size back in like uh, the original Castlevania, of course. Here he's showing his true monstrous form as he is uh, destroying his own castle because he's uh, dumb and smelly, like a vampire. Now then, yeah, all right, to the next phase. In fact, I'm just going to use another potion charge here because I can. It should make it very easy to beat up the big Dracula man himself. Which, I mean, of course, is why we're all here. I mean, you and I, of course. There's nobody else here watching us. That would be weird. This is our intimate time fighting. When I get to express my love for you in the, the most pure way possible. Fighting Dracula in Castlevania, of course. It's hard to believe that other couples don't actually do this, right? Ah. Well, as long as I don't get stoned by him. Should be fine, right? There we are. Perfect. Exactly oh, what I'm looking for. Ah. Got grabbed. Thankfully, uh, using a survival run, I have a lot of health. And I'm actually totally and completely okay here. Oh, but it looks like I'm going to have to call this little... This, this particular attempt short because I'm getting too close to actually beating him. <sighs> it's tragic, really, I know, but it's like to, to make sure that, that I don't actually fight him. I know, I know, I'm so persnickety, but it's like, it's, it's just how I want to do it. There we go. Now I think we can probably fit one more fight into this week's session. I know, I know, only a half hour. Usually I'll go for at least like one or even two sometimes. But I do want to make sure that, you know, I got to go get my uh, car's oil changed soon enough. So can't really spend too long fighting Dracula all day today. Hey, I mean, you know, we can always just end up doing this a little bit later in the week, too, if you really want to. I am totally okay with, with fighting Dracula at any time, especially if it's for you. I mean, you're so important to me and everything that I'll do anything. And it doesn't matter how many times I fight Dracula, I will do it for you. Now. Yes, let's see how I do against this. No, oh, I just turned off the, the feather and now I'm on the ground again. Can you believe that, Dracula? Of course you can't. Because you're a dummy. You dumb vampire man. Look how dumb you are. Ah. Still though. He's very tall. We all know that. Yes, yes, yes. Well, if I'm sitting directly next to you, I can just get the critical very easily then, can't I, Dracula? That's right. Now. Into... <laughs> I'm so glad they don't force me to try and be in between those fire pillars. That would be extremely uh, difficult to do otherwise. Although I'm not really saved, of course, by fighting him, just by flying in the air. Getting those nice bird wings going. <laughs> And I'm also going to use another potion charge here just to be sure because unless I'm probably going to die. And I shouldn't die. Dracula should die, of course. Now, one more time. Into the final boss fight against Dracul's final form. And I think I should probably be okay here, to be honest. I mean, you know, I do think that probably staying close to him would be easier to beat him up, right? Oh, yeah, there's the good Dracula strategies. I know how much you love them. Yeah, okay, you know, I think it's probably much easier to get next to this guy as he is doing that rather than just being on the opposite side. That's how I've been fighting him before, but I can see right now that look at how much effective this is and easy to get. The DPS out. That's the Draculas per second, of course. 
Dracula's beat per second. I mean, I, I don't want there to be more than one Dracula. I'm not going to make it again. I somehow rolled it anyway, which is kind of funny. But then I got hit by that. Okay, never mind. Then uh, I tried my best. You know how it is. Fighting Dracula isn't really the easiest thing. That's why I usually have a trained Belmont doing it or something like that. Brat. <laughs> really got to stop standing directly in that laser. But it's hard not to. I love lasers. Lasers are some of my favorite. And like I said, the laser ASMR. Light ASMR. Um, something. Laser an acronym, by the way. This is an important thing to note. Okay. And bats are much easier than trying to do the laser again or something. Oh, no, I actually wanted to... It, 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 we're kind of at the end of it again. I, I was sort of expecting to, to die there. There we are. Perfect. And babe, that should be that should be it.